This video is a really quick introduction to how to make sure you log into SketchUp online correctly using your school credentials. The quickest way to do it is to make sure you're in your materials technology class and you go to the SketchUp uh, unit of work or alternatively you may find a link on the main technology page. What you're looking for is a link like this, SketchUp EDU web application. When you click on that link, wherever you find it, it'll take you to the login page for the SketchUp program. If you are looking for the link in any other way, make sure that it is the edu.sketchup.com forward slash app. If you go to any other version of the app, you will not be able to sign in with your proper credentials. It will lock, bring you to a page similar to this, and you're looking for the sign in with Microsoft. Our school accounts at North Keelor are Microsoft accounts. They are not Google accounts. So make sure you are clicking on the sign in with Microsoft. You should come to a login page with the Microsoft logo at the top where you can put your school email address as your username. Once you've done that, you should see our school login in the background and our school logo at the top. And at this point, you'll put your school password in. If you get this prompt, you can choose to click the don't show this again and yes, and it will reduce the number of times that you get asked to log in when using this app. After a short amount of loading, you should come to the application for SketchUp. This is your home screen and you can see on the side here on the left, you have some places where you can save your models online on the Microsoft OneDrive. We will talk about saving at a later stage. You can take a tour of the product from here. You can create a new model from the selection up here using one of the templates, or you can just click the start modeling button in the middle. I tend to prefer using the simple template in millimeters to make sure that my models always start with the measurement system that we use and we don't end up with feet and inches, which is the American system. So I'm simply going to choose here, simple template in millimeters. I'm now in the SketchUp program itself. It is the version provided for schools, which is the same as the other versions, except for you don't have to pay for it as a student at North Keelor. So that was the login process. It may be worth you making a shortcut of your own to the application to save you some time but it is important that you are logging into the school's application and using your Microsoft login, which is your school login. Follow along with some further videos where we'll actually show you how to use this program. Again, this one was just about how to log in correctly.